Hello, welcome to IT Security Labs. Today we're going to learn how to use Elk or the Elastic Security SIM solution to investigate a potential incident using TriHackMe ECBC room. So it says put your Elk knowledge together and investigate an incident. I joined the room and the goal is to interact with a Kibana instance and investigate a potential attack that happened on this company and figure out where it came from and how it happened. So this is supposed to be fun. I haven't done it, so we're going to have fun together. Let's jump in. I just started the room. And second, let me go ahead and connect to the VPN, try me VPN from my attacker machine. So let me just go to CD VPN, open VPN, try me all VPN. All right, we are connected. Now that we are connected, it says before moving forward, deploy the machine. When you deploy the machine, it will be assigned an IP address. I deployed by hitting the start button here. Then my machine IP is this. The IP, would, it will take about three to five minutes to start. Use the following credential admin elastic123. So we are getting into a Kibana instance, hopefully. It takes about three minutes. So if it's not up, oh, there we go. It's up, actually up. Let's grab the credentials elastic123 and admin. All right. It doesn't look like. I needed credentials. So let's go to the overview. This is just a, a regular Kibana instance. So we did that. Market is complete. Now on the next part here, this is the interesting part. During normal SOC monitoring, analyst John observed an alert on the IDS solution indicating a potential C2 communication from a user, Brown from HR department. A suspicious file was accessed containing malicious pattern that's our flag, THM. A week-long HTTP connection logs have been pulled to investigate. Due to limited resources, only the connection logs could be pulled out and are ingested in the connection underscore log index. So we need to look for this index, connection underscore logs. In, go solo. Yes, connection underscore logs. All right, so it's looking in the last 15 minutes. Obviously, these logs are from a while ago, so it's blank. We need to change the dates to go to the actual dates when the investigation is supposed to happen. Our task in this room is to investigate the network connection log of this user, find the link and the content of the file and answer the following question. So this is supposed to be cool. How many events occurred are returned from March of 2022? So yeah, like I said, we don't have anything here. So we need to go to the calendar. All right, there we go. So we need to change the year to 2020. 2022 March. All right, give me some events. Oh, no, this is May, March. Update that. So we're looking at 1,482 events. So those are the number of events. We don't know what they are yet because we haven't looked into them, but that's the correct number. What is the IP address associated with the suspected user in the logs? So we, we say that John observed an alert on an IDS solution in, indicating a potential C2 communication from a user in the HR department. So there's a computer internally communicating to another one externally. All right, so after looking at the IP addresses here, we look at the destination IP address, we see 72. There isn't much going on in the destination IPs because they are all over the place. So let's look at source IP. In source IPs, we see interesting stuff, right? We see 192.168. This is 19, 99% of the traffic is going there. It doesn't necessarily mean that's our attack. And I tried this one, see if that's the actual IP. So we can investigate it if we want, but it's not the actual IP. No, it's incorrect. So let's try the second one. Even though the second one doesn't have a lot of traffic, we can also look at who these IP addresses are talking to to see what kind of communication it is. Let's submit that. Okay, so we know that it's the second one. Now that we know it's the second one, what is the second IP communicating to? We can hit the plus to edit, to filter by that IP. At the top here, Kibano say, hey, we are filtering now. If you look, who is the destination? It's going to this IP address here, 104. That, let's copy that. What kind of traffic is it? HTTP traffic. And it's going to, it's using a user agent of bits admin. So this is already suspicious. And let's look at the second log to see if it gives us more information. 
yeah the host is pastebin.com so pastebin that's where attackers can go and paste code that they want to share with everybody it's a public site for sharing code so i think we're on the right path here so if somebody reached out to pastebin they downloaded something the username uh the user's machine used a legit windows binary to download a file to, from the c2 server what is the name of the binary okay so coming back here if we look at the second request for that day we notice that we went to pestbin.com that's the website that we went to and we use user agent of bits admin that's an application on windows so we just go grab that and we come back here let's go here that's the bits admin the mach machines legitimate user that they use to download so that's a tool on windows the infected machine connected to a famous file sharing site that's pestbin.com and we can see it right here it spells it out pestbin.com so that was easy what is the full url of the c2 which the infected host connected to so coming back here we notice that we went to pestbin.com the uri was this combining pestbin.com with this slash here takes us to this location that's the full url then the file there was secret.txt we'll copy that and if you see this is the contents try me tops uh secret code so that's what they're asking here what is the full uri pestbin.com slash and secret.txt that's the name of the file that we saw right here and it's completed here then what is the contents try me secret code so this was a fun machine and i hope you learned something here from this investigation otherwise thank you for being here please remember to like subscribe and i hope to see you next time